What's going on guys, Dominator back with you guys for a brand new video. Today is the day my car gets finally tuned. That's right guys, we are getting tuned by Lund. It's a, just a normal 91 octane tune um, because I just threw on a JLT intake on my car. I, was, I replaced my old air raid cold air intake with the new JLT. So my Lund end gauge just came in today and let's unbox this thing. And I also have another product I want to review with you guys. It's called Draggy. Uh, I'll talk more about it here in a bit, but let's get into today's video. So guys, here's the box. Yeah, it comes in. Let's take a look inside. What we got. Here we have the back. Looks like the back piece to the end gauge. We have the end gauge itself. And further in the box we have the OBD2 connectors. And we have the USB cable to plug into your computer and transfer your tunes and we have the micro SD card so we're gonna get we already have my tune on my laptop uh, that just came in the email so we're gonna plug this up uh, with the end gauge in the, in the laptop and plug this in and we're gonna go ahead and put the tune on and we'll go to my car and we'll tune it up all right guys so we just got the end gauge tune installed from the laptop transferred over to the end gauge so now we're going to flash it. Um, it says to just leave the car in accessory mode. So the car is on accessory mode only. The car is not running as you can tell by the RPMs. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and flash this tune. It says flash this tune. Yes please. And it's going to load the tune. And it says right here it's going to take approximately 8 minutes. So we'll go ahead and do that. And if you see a bunch of... Uh, if you hear a bunch of blinking and stuff, like a lot of sensors and stuff, um, it'll do that. So now it's got communication with the car, and it's going to save our stock calibration. So if we do return this car to factory, if we want to trade it up or whatever, it's the, fi the stock file tune is going to be on here. We can just flash it back up, back to stock. And I'll keep back up with you guys. Keep back up. I'll get back with you guys here in about eight minutes. As you can see, it's already starting to load. I'm honestly really nervous about tuning my car. I don't. I just don't know why. I've heard a lot of bad things about people. You know, I'm not. I don't want to really jinx myself, but I'm just kind of nervous about it. So I mean, you know, I don't know. Sorry, I didn't know the zoom was on or not. But tuning the car is a whole different ball game. So I mean, the car is no longer under warranty. So I mean, I can do what as I please. And so next up, if this tune goes well and everything. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and full send and buy uh, my headers and injectors and I'm gonna get a 18 manifold not ported but I'm gonna get the IMRC lockouts so that's gonna mean another tune revision probably some data logging I'm not sure how that works because I'm new to like tuning your car type of field of play and tuning is a whole different ball game so for me but if you have any you know special you know I guess comments or whatever you want to tell me in the, in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. Um, I really appreciate the help and everything. So, I mean, here's to going faster, right? I mean, and after that, I think, you know, I'm going to go ahead and full sand and just buy uh, some race stars for, you know, the track and stuff. Um, with this whole COVID stuff going around, the track is closed. So um, this is what this is where that little draggy device I was talking about comes into play because it uses actual satellite GPS to track your actual speeds and times and everything. And a lot of YouTubers have actually compared draggy's times to actual time slips at the track and they're nearly, if not dead on perfect, times and speeds, everything. So that's why I got it. So, cause you know, this whole COVID thing, I'm not sure how long it's gonna stay. So, you know, that's why I got it. And it's only $149 and I got it on Lethal Performance. So if you go to Lethal Performance, uh, you'll be able to get a draggy device for $149, which is great. This end gauge I got off of uh, Team Beef Cake Racing. Uh, what this tune is right now is just a JLT uh, cold air intake with a 91 octane tune because we don't have 93 octane here in the state of New Mexico. So that's just why uh, I chose 91 because we don't have 93 here. Um, so. And then when we get injectors, we'll go ahead and get an E85 tune for that. Uh, this is a Gen 2 Coyote. This isn't the Gen 3. So so right now, it just got done saving the stock tune file 
Uh, now it looks like it's actually going to flash the actual new tune. Looks like as if it's doing that. Uh, like I said, guys, don't judge. I'm new to this tuning game, so I mean, I've done my homework, I've done my research, but I'm just you know trying to clarify things here. So it looks like it's flashing the new tune, and I'll get with you guys once it's done flashing. Some more news I want to tell you guys. Um, I entered in Sting Mode's GT500 giveaway, and if I come home with a GT500 in the next couple weeks, that would be really cool. The, the giveaway ends on May 25th, and my birthday's on the 26th, so you know, if I win that car, it'd be a really cool birthday gift, you know, just saying. Um, but it is hot other than that today. It's like extremely scorching today here in New Mexico. Um, I'm looking at my weather app right now, and it currently says it's 79. It feels like 79, but it feels a little bit hotter than that. It feels like 81, 82. Um, but, you know, it's summertime summertime weather, and this whole COVID thing's, you know, blocking us away from all our fun stuff. But it looks like the tuner's just about to be done, so let's get to it. So there it is, guys. It says, tune and install successfully, turn key off for 10 seconds, and then start the vehicle. SD card location, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna go ahead and restart the vehicle after 10 seconds. All right guys, so 10 seconds has gone by. We're gonna go ahead and push in the clutch. There it is. Back to normal idle. It sounds pretty healthy. So the moment I installed the GLT cold air intake, it like kept revving up and revving down. It, kept, it was running really lean. And it was like, <laughs> and then started revving. Yeah, excuse my, my voices and everything, but um, that's crazy. So guys, now I'm going to do the crank relearn because it threw the check engine light and it threw the, uh, the code P3015, I think it's what it was, um, where it needed to learn the crank position is what I learned through Lund Racing's uh, YouTube channel so I went through step-by-step -step on how to start the crank relearn process and so that's what it's doing so the AC and the froster are off and my vehicle is, start, is currently getting up to temp because this is just this was just a cold start at the beginning uh, when I started recording uh, so the car hasn't been turned on all day except for just now so it's getting up to temp and I'm pretty sure it's gonna go through the crank relearn process as soon as it goes up to temp to me, I highly suggest if you have to go through this crank relearn, uh, I highly suggest you know your car being warmed up maybe at the time, but not during the the tune, the flashing of the tune. Um, you know, maybe take it out for a drive before you do this uh, one last time before you flash the tune, so it's up to temp, so you don't have to go through this process. Um, but for me, when this is happening, if you guys are going through this as well, I highly suggest not to rev your engine up anything or any time. Uh, just, that's just my opinion. If you want to go for it, go for it. That's your car. But for me specifically, I suggest not to. I choose not to either because you know I, that could interrupt the process or you know just damage the vehicle itself. Uh, that's just my opinion. So I mean, if you're going through this, I suggest not to rev up your engine in any ways. Me, any ways necessary. Just let it get up to normal idle temperature by itself. So guys, the crank relearn did help. The engine code is cleared. So now we are going to do the gauges and we should be good. All right guys, I just went through my first official drive with the new tune on and the intake. Finally, it's, it's, it took the end gauge a while to get here. Um, but we finally got it in, we finally got some runs in and man, does it feel healthy. It feels so good, so good, I love it. Um, it's just great, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna mess with it later on tonight because I gotta set up the gauges and the RPM shift lights and all that good stuff. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about Draggy. Um, it's this little guy right here. Uh, Draggy is a satellite based GPS that tracks your vehicle in real time, it tracks your speed. Um, it can be also used as a dash cam. I would have put a run, a couple runs. Uh, on my dash but I don't have a mounting for my phone yet for my windshield but once I do that I'll get some runs in but we're gonna talk about uh, like the run the, the first run I did with it 
uh, compared to my computer because some of the Mustangs have uh, uh, track apps so you can actually go back and view your, your best times. Uh, it's on the acceleration timer but uh, the Mustang it's uh, view clear results uh, an all time best. Uh, you just got to save it constantly. Okay, so let's talk about it a little bit. So I was launching uh, roughly 3,500 RPMs in these runs. Uh, my best one was a 1365. Uh, I forgot to mention as well that in the computer version, uh, these times I was launching at about 4,000, 4,200 RPMs. So you can kind of see why the computer quarter mile shows a faster time than draggy because I lowered the RPM launch to 3,200 and in these previous runs I haven't done a pass with the computer in a fat minute so if, give or take about a month or two ago I was launching about 42 4, 4 thousand rpms uh, so that's why it shows a faster quarter mile time but draggy uses real-time and real GPS satellite so it tracks your car and you get instant results right on the spot so all these other companies that say oh it takes about a minute or two or five minutes to get your results draggy takes it right there and then after you pass your whatever times um, I'm not gonna go in full depth with this app uh, you can get it as you please see I can personalize my account there it is my nickname and my car um, you can also you know view leaderboards in your area you know who's got the fastest you know Camaros and stuff uh, I'm still checking this app out because this is my first time officially using this on the road basically I've just been you know sitting down and playing with it so this is my first time actually using the app and the device itself. Uh, you can go back and watch your videos. Uh, that was just a mess up video. Um, you can also look, you can also change your units that you want to dis that you want to test. You can change your zero to you can test your zero to thirty, si zero to sixty, sixty to one thirty, zero to one thirty, sixty miles to zero miles, your eighth mile and your quarter mile and your half mile. For those of you uh, straight line enthusiasts, you can check those out. Um, what's cool about this too is in the in the camera settings. Oh, I got to connect to my device real quick. So it's going to connect, and you can leave it on your car. I put mine right here, a little corner right there. Uh, they they supply you 3M tape that you can put on your dash and stuff. But I don't want to destroy my my leather dash board and anything like that. I will just skip that for now. If you go to the camera settings, uh, no, sorry. If you go here, you can actually check your elevation and altitude. And then it shows you your temperature too as well. A lot of apps pay you, you have to pay for, I don't know why it lagged out like that. A lot of apps like to charge you to, I know there's a specific app that shows you your, your altitude and the, you know, all that stuff that all you need to know when you hit the, hit the drag shipper road, of course. Um, Draggy has it already for you. It's just plain and simple, you don't need, anything else to it that's that's it but that's pretty much it guys uh the road to full bolt on part one is already here like i said we got the jlt cold air intake with lunds 91 octane tune really great throttle throttle response magnificent and i really feel the jump now when i hit 40 miles an hour for those people who like to roll race i'm not very much a roll racer myself but i just like to launch at 40 uh, at second gear um I can feel more, you know, torque. <laughs> Sorry, I like to feel more torque when I launch, when I hit the pedal, than what my previous setup was, which is a no tune and air cold air intake. I feel more of a kick, which is great, magnificent. Definitely worth the money if you go for an engage. A lot of people say SXT is pretty good or SCT tuner devices are good, uh, but if you get them, if you get a LUN tune, it's good. But I like LUN because you know you you get to mount it on your on your your dashboard and everything. I'm pretty sure you can do it with the SCTs too. Um, and it shows you all your gauges and stuff you can customize them so that's what I'm about to do when I hit inside but I think that's pretty much it uh, next video is going to be probably me and Jerome you know we're gonna take our cars out uh, and test our quarter miles or quarter mile times uh, just to see where we're at because our drag strip is closed at the time due to this COVID-19 crisis um, so we're just gonna take it out and test it out and see what where we stand pretty much basically as quarter mile wise um, uh, he's got the same setup too, so we'll be comparing Gen One, uh, Gen Two, and Gen Three Coyotes. Uh, these cars haven't hit the dyno. Both cars haven't hit the dyno at all, so 
once I get my football tone set up, I'll hit the dyno and I'll show you guys the official numbers. Um, and then furthermore, I'm going to be buying my headers next. Um, and then later on down the road, I'm going to get the injectors and the 18 manifold and get a new tune for all those set for that setup and we'll be pretty good to go pretty much the road to full bolt on will almost be done by then as far as go fast parts because i think camshafts will be later down the road um i'll probably have to get used to you know so much power because i'm already barely, barely getting used to this it probably adds about i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below but i'm pretty sure with this tune and the jlt cold air intake the one 110 millimeter inlet tube it's supposed to produce give you about 20 to 30 more horsepower i'm thinking don't correct me if i'm wrong ladies and gentlemen uh, but I, I'm, I'm just guessing here it, it should increase your horsepower to like 20 to 30 maybe even 40 miles or not 40 miles 40 more horsepower um so we learn as we go right but Anyways, guys, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading lately. You know, this whole coronavirus crap is, you know, cutting me off from, you know, going out and stuff. Um, but I promise you guys, more videos will be on the way. Um, even if I have to install my own parts here and, you know, get my e tunes by email, I will do that for you guys. But just trust the process and we'll get there. Trust me, guys. This year is our year. 2020 is the Dominator's year. Um, but anyways guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like this video, please like it and drop down drop a comment down below What did I miss? What should I talk about next? What video should I make next? If you have any suggestions drop them down in the comments down below um, As always smile more keep calm and dominate be safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace